Hello. Pre pretty busy summer. Pretty insane. <laughs> uh, what's happening to our society. But um, I uh, have been really thinking a lot about one of the totally unexpected things that I found when I, I went to the one portion of those anomalous formations in the landscape that I, you know, and I have shared um, more pictures with other northern people who agree that there is clearly anomalous formations that look constructed by some intelligence, you know, from when we don't know, okay? So I'm not alone in that, as just as you've seen too. But I was really stumped because when I went there, at least on the surface, is this incredibly gargantuously huge mound of pure sand which I took a sample of and looked at under the microscope and it's like pure it looks like um citron like it, it it's clear like it does have a really golden uh you know uh fleck in it but it's so consistent okay now I I was thinking and thinking and thinking about it and, and thinking about charge because, you know, if, if this civilization was accessing perhaps the, you know, the, the, the charge differential that exists between the earth and the air and, and perhaps tapping into the electromagnetism, you know, um, what I found out is that sand okay has the ability to conduct electricity if it's wet okay and hold a different charge so so like clay so this sand you know that's you can see those marks okay um is is banked completely by the purest deepest blue clay ever okay so clay ha you know can have a type of charge because you know a different type of charge because of the small particles and then sand sand can actually what i was reading was very interesting um in the deserts and stuff like depending on friction and the wind it can even take up like a bit of a positive charge Com like i do believe the earth the physical earth tends to be slightly negative in comparison to the atmospheric charge and that's what allows lightning and electrical storms is the earth rebalancing this charge differential that builds up because of friction and stuff okay so the fact that the sand is there in such a symmetrical, uh, you know, pattern, like, again, is, you know, I'm not saying that these, these lines have anything to do with physical structures that, um, hypothetically they lived in, but perhaps as part of the, the old grid system they use to tap into the earth's energy when i say energy i mean actual charge okay electric charge which is you know the the moving of electrons um for look for a you know perhaps a totally different type of electricity than we understand at this time so um i did get a i gotta show you guys I did get uh, one of these uh, <laughs> that I'm learning. Okay, it's pretty cool. Uh, this one is pretty simple and I like it because this little booklet really explains what you're looking for and what's considered safe ranges and not. And then they have a, a website. I don't, it's probably, it might be opposite. 
um, that, you know, you can even look at with, you know, to learn more. So I'm just wondering if, and I'm going to test it, if these areas, if, because I know where they are and I can walk across or through, if there's a change in uh, the concentration of anything, of any kind of frequencies, because the thing that caught my attention in this little booklet is it says that when you're checking some readings, it's suggested that you don't hold the device because the human body, depending, I guess, on the frequency, can sometimes concentrate, okay, the uh, um, signal that's coming. So I thought that was pretty interesting that the human body could even concentrate um, some kinds of frequencies. So yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you that turns out sand has the ability to carry a broader range of charge, uh, depending if it's dry or wet. Um, and that's pretty interesting. And it, it's kind of hard, like I was trying to find articles that talk about the charge of like clay, you know? So when I find um, some more sort of science papers that talking about this charge of soil, um, I will definitely share. So that's kind of interesting. Bye, friends.